I'm Bambos Kiriaki. I'm Professor of Behavioural Genetics at the University of Leicester in the Department of Genetics. We study biological rhythms, which are the 24-hour rhythms that wake us up in the morning and put us to bed at night. And we study them in the fruit fly, Drosophila melanogaster. When I first started working on this, was 35 years ago, um, the medical implications weren't so obvious. But over the decades, it's become quite apparent that rhythms percolate through every aspect of physiology, biochemistry and metabolism. So everything we do is rhythmic, which is obvious because we live on a rhythmic planet. We have cycles of day and night, and these have been going on relentlessly for three and a half billion years. So why is it important? Well, it's important because a quarter of our population work shifts. So every week they change their shifts. At weekends they change when they're sociable. But on Monday when they start work, they may be working in the middle of the night. And the following week they may advance that by eight hours. And the week after that they'll advance it by eight hours. And the trouble with that is that it makes you feel bad. It makes you tired, makes you grumpy. But actually more than that, it actually gets you desynchronized. All your organs have a rhythm. And they've all got to be in synchrony with each other. And if they're not, you feel really bad. It's called jet lag. And shift workers have it all the time. And if you look on any index of their health, they are not healthy people. They have high levels of sleep disorders, depressions, drug addiction, divorce, cancer. And so what we do by studying the clock is basic medical research. All the express genes that We use Drosophila, A, because it's very convenient and it has a generation time of 10 days. In the early 1900s, a guy called Morgan started working on Drosophila. So we've had 100 years of genetic background in Drosophila. So we know where every gene is on every chromosome. We can put genes in to Drosophila. We can take genes out of Drosophila. We can make mutants in every gene that we like, in any tissue that we like. It's the organism par excellence for doing genetic research. People often say, isn't working on fruit flies ridiculous? What can it tell us about anything? Uh, are you just uh, uh, indulging your your nerdy interests in these little two millimetre long insects. And the answer to that is that the fruit fly has proved itself over the last 30 years to be a wonderful model system for genetics and molecular genetics. And it's a great model for just about every disease you can think about. And it's cheap to work with. So the money that's spent on research in fruit flies saves a lot of money because if you were to do the same research on mice, and granted, some research doesn't pan out. I mean, if we knew what we were doing, we wouldn't call it research, would we? Okay, so a lot of research projects don't work because they're a risk, they're a gamble. But it's much better to spend the money on Drosophila and find it hasn't worked than spending a lot more money on mice to find that it doesn't work.